something that comes up a lot with uh, quantum computing is that people are concerned about encryption being broken. Mm -hmm. And so, for example, um, Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, wrote in a book that it would take a classical computer a billion years to crack a widely used encryption algorithm, RSA 2048, um, whereas it would take a quantum computer less than two minutes to do the same. So a billion years versus two minutes. I also find it funny. I mean, this is the kind of thing that with Willow, they're like, oh, we we did this thing in five minutes that would take the world's fastest supercomputer 10 septillion years, a number that vastly exceeds the age of the universe. And anytime, <laughs> anytime I read something like that, I feel like it's been, you know, it's it's like an unfair comparison because it's like you're, you know, we're, you're using a problem that is ideally suited to quantum computing that is unsuitable to classical computing. And so, you know, you get these big numbers and I guess it is kind of impressive, but also to me, every time I read those, it isn't that surprising or shocking because I already know that quantum computing can solve problems efficiently that classical computers can't. Anyway, encryption is one of those things. And so um, in a world where encryption today um, on the internet and so many aspects of our lives is required for trust between strangers and ensures privacy. How you you must have spent some time thinking about this. I don't know any of the answers, but pe people ask me. They say, you know, what about quantum and how it's going to break all of our encryption records? And I give this kind of vague answer to people. I'm like, yeah, but it's you know, it's it it requires this one upmanship. It's you know, hackers versus people who are trying to come up with security solutions and. I don't think there's going to be some encryption apocalypse where all of a sudden everyone can have access to everyone's account. It just seems to me like there are going to be solutions, but I have no idea how those would work. So maybe you have some insight into how these future quantum-proof uh, encryption algorithms could work. Yes. So um, everything you said, I think, summarizes uh, the challenge already really well. I, by the way, I uh, agree. So we... Um, when we do this or when, when uh, companies release these statements about these computations that a quantum computer can do versus a classical computer, then um, I would also worry more about uh, the real world problems versus um, problems specifically designed uh, to solve by a quantum computer, efficiently solved by a quantum computer. So, but encryption now is one of these problems where we have a practical application. We use, as you said, RSA, for example, a lot for encrypting uh, communication through devices or between devices um, in internet-based communication, network-based communication. So um, if a quantum computer is able to crack that algorithm efficiently, we got to protect against it somehow. Uh, a quantum computer, um, the RSA, for example, can, uh, or can crack RSA efficiently because the underlying structure, the underlying mathematical promise is that with a classical computer, you cannot find the prime factors of a very large numbers efficiently. Now with a quantum computer, you can do that more or less efficiently. And that is true for other encryption algorithms too. So based on whatever mathematical promise, there may be a quantum algorithm that solves that problem efficiently just because of um, the uh, features that the quantum computer has that we will not have at any time with a classical computer. So there is a, a class of algorithms that are summarized as post-quantum algorithms, post-quantum cryptography. As of current understanding, and that doesn't mean that will hold true forever, but as of current understanding, there is no efficient way to use a quantum computer to crack these algorithms. Um, NIST just recently released uh, three standards, uh, or you can call it one standard with three algorithms uh, for digital signature and encryption. And uh, these ones are among those algorithms that, uh, as of current knowledge, cannot be cracked easily with a quantum computer. So that's one part of the story. You will use, for encryption of file systems or communication, you will use post-quantum cryptography algorithms. But then there is more. There is other quantum technology that you can use to protect against quantum computers. So there is a, the quantum key distribution, if you've heard of that. So quantum key distribution means, basically, I have two parties, and I have a fiber optics network between these two parties and I encode my key in the quantum information, say in the phase or in the polarization of photons, uh, and then transmit that over the fiber optics channel and through um, smart measurements and then exchange of information between the parties, I know 
it, or the parties know if someone has listened, if someone was trying to steal that key. So if the parties now agree, I have done quantum key distribution, no one has listened, we can use that key securely, then they would get um, the quantum, the post-quantum algorithm and use that key in the post-quantum algorithm. So I now have two components already. And the third component is the secure key generation. There are many random number generators out there. Uh, what we supply to is a quantum random number generator. Uh, so a device that uses photons uh, or the avalanche breakdown. So it's two different versions that we have um, in a transistor um, to securely, absolutely randomly generate numbers. So, and these numbers, um, they cannot be reproduced algorithmically. So all the other algorithms that we use in the software, the random number generators, they're pseudo-random. So it's an algorithm taking a seed and then generating a number. Worst case, an attacker can reproduce it. So now if you bring these three together, secure key generation through a quantum device, a random number generator, secure key exchange through quantum key distribution, secure encryption through post-quantum cryptography algorithms, then you're absolutely secure.